I can't stand intros. Hey everyone, this is the Halloween version. It's not going to be very uh, elaborate and extremely edited. A little bit under the weather. Uh, watch of the day is the GW5000. I got the little Suntu uh, Sunto clipper on them, just in case you're wondering. Great little watch. Uh, safety. Inside here, I've got all my Mora knives and that little hook and uh, the 120. Uh, the 120 inflicted some pain, some stitches. Uh, it's not been good. I can't, I could probably do an entire series on the safety of this hobby, but um, I'm just living proof that you have to be really careful with these things, even when you think you're being extremely safe. So uh, moving right along here, Keeping in the Halloween theme, this is the only knife I have in my entire collection that fits the, um, the theme of this video, which is kind of like a Halloween thing. I don't have a lot of orange and black knives. As a matter of fact, this is it. So this is the uh, 0630, just in case you're wondering, from Zero Tolerance. And uh, that's a sweet little knife that's in the collection. It's not really, uh, it's not being thrashed on. Uh, also, we've got a name for a little rooster. Yeah, that's right. Little Yeti, I want to thank you guys for participating and humoring me and trying to, uh, I think Little, uh, little Jerry is a good name for him. Uh, I'll put a link to the episode that I'm talking about in one of the comments. Maybe I'll pin it at the top just in case you have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you do, you should be laughing pretty hard, I would think. Anyway, I think this is a good... Okay, so, um, all right, what are we going to look at? I promised you after I did the unboxing, which was quite a long time ago, that I'd do a follow-up on the XL and uh, get into it. Okay, so what we're looking at is the Cold Steel Espada Large and the Cold Steel Espada Extra Large. Thought I'd bring them both out here, just kind of do a quick little size comparison before I put the large away and focus primarily on the Extra Large. Oh yeah. Both ginormous, both humongous, both massive, both el grande, both duro, both uh, extraordinario. I'm running out of words here. I'm having to use different languages. Okay, <laughs> this one I have carried a ton, a ton. That's right. I've softened that spring, very, very smooth, very, very comfortable. Can't say enough about this knife. Uh, I will say that this one is more of an everyday carry than this one, but I'll get to this one here in a second too. Uh, this one here is with the G10, the Polish G10 and the aluminum. And this one is with the XHP. And let's kind of slide him out of the way for the time being. And let's look at his big, big brother. Let's move him in. And we're at S35VN now. And all the same materials as well. Um, you can see that I've carried this quite a bit. I've carried it in the pocket and in the waistband. And it does carry extremely well. Everyone's going to have their own opinion. Like, why would anybody carry something like that? You know, everyone's going to have their own thoughts. And I think that's brilliant. Um, I think for me personally, as a collector, I choose this over the G10 and the, um, uh, the AUS 8, 10, and 8. There's a whole bunch of different variants now with the steels on the uh, G10 versions. They're going to be more grippy. I don't ever want to pull this thing out in any situation except to go, hey, just take a look at this thing. Isn't that something? That, that's more than enough. Uh, if I was ever in a situation where I actually had to, um, you know, rely on this thing for anything outside of making coffee in the woods, uh, I have no doubt that it would perform extremely well. Now, the human factor is a completely different topic. But let's not talk about that right now. Let's just look at this extremely elegant, uh, classy, uh, potent piece of art. Yeah, to me it's art, functional art, totally. I mean, look at it. 
I mean, I can't say look at it enough. Uh, you'll notice that I am extremely careful. Blade centering on this one's off just a little bit. That's because I've tightened up the, uh, the pivot a bit and that kind of kicked it over. And yeah, the, uh, the spring. I think I, I showed you in, in a couple of other videos, several videos in fact, on how to soften that spring. So anyway, do I carry it every single day? No. Do I carry it a week at a time? Yes. Why? Because I can. Very comfortable, very cool. I can't say enough about them. I just don't know. I'm running out of words. I think they're uh, some of the coolest knives out there to, to have the imagination to come up with something like this, sorry for that, is awesome. And really at the end of the day, that's what I like the most is imagination. Uh, that's basically what I'm running on. So anyway, I thought I'd put those out there for you. Happy Halloween, all you guys and gals and zombies, whatever you might be.